Kings doing this have to know how you are doing welcome to another day in the vlog I'm just sitting here I got off a little earlier today um, I'm just sitting here in the park the last I would say maybe like the last 30 40 minutes um, yeah I'm just sitting here thinking about a lot of things I told y'all that yeah I know I have really been feeling too well and I've been kind of wear my mask you know just for the safety of it because i'm you know working and working around people and stuff like that and you know if I'm, I, I pray i'm not sick i mean i pray i don't have nothing major but you know just for safety precautions i rather just have my mask on my face today was a very smooth day um i just like i said i've just been really pushing myself to continue to keep working i know it's not a good thing to work while you're not feeling well but when you really need to need the hours and uh, you know like i told y'all by the holidays coming up I, I know i really need to try to go on to work the hours why um the hours are given to me because like i say in the um in this industry in the hotel industry when it get real slow it gets slow so i'm just sitting here um uh, you know i just said i was gonna go and just kind of push through i did yesterday eating when i got off i made me some lemon tea i think when i go back to work tomorrow i probably um Give, um, give me back two packs of tea with me while I can um, drink on when I get to the house. Cause like I said, I used up all my lemon juice and my honey that I had to make me a little tea at home. But yeah, yeah, I was just sitting here. Like for some reason, like I just feel like easy and lightheaded for some reason, but yeah. I just want to kind of come in and start the vlog off. I'm in the park, um, same park I always go to, but uh, the Martin Luther King Reflection Park. I'm just sitting here. You know waiting on the bus so 
Yeah, y'all, I just want to come in and start this vlog off and say how you all doing. Good evening, how my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing this evening? How you all doing? Welcome to another day in the vlog. Um, I'm just not getting off of work. Maybe over um, an hour ago, I had made it in. Um, not too long ago. So I'm just sitting up here drinking on this tea. Um, it's like a herbal, all natural herbs tea that my co-worker, one of my co-workers, she's very sweet, gave me. Um, I was telling y'all yesterday, um, yesterday that I wasn't, you know, haven't really been feeling too good. I've been feeling like, you know, sickness coming down, but I'm praying, you know, in, in Jesus' name, by his stripes that I become healed, whatever it is. So she had gave me two packs of this tea and I just made it. I didn't have any honey because I used up my honey last week when I made my lemon tea. And so I, you know, used that up with the lemon juice that I had. And um, also I had put a little brown sugar in here because I don't know, I can't drink tea. It's pretty good since I put a little brown sugar in. It got a little spice taste to it, but it's real good. I'm going to drink it down, though. Um, I can't use when I drink tea. I have to have, like, some type of flavor sweetening. I can't just drink tea plain, you know, with nothing in it. So, yeah, y'all, welcome back to another day in the vlog. Y'all, when I say <laughs> your girl just, she, when you under, I'm not going to say I'm on attack. I feel like I've been, like, I ain't going to say I've been in a funk. It's just, I feel like, lady, I have really been dealing with, like, anxiety, you know. Um, I'm the type I use very seldom deal with anxiety and stuff like that, those kind of feelings. It's just sad when you're doing the best you can and it's always something somebody nitpicking with you or trying to bring you down when you're doing the best you can. And y'all know, I like I say, I never want to, you know, tell y'all you know make seem like things that's occurring in my life is all you know bad because like i say god is always blessing me more than i can think of or ask but i just refuse to be used i refuse to be misled or something like that and that's that's with anything that's with people work you know the working the workforce because i know this and i'm not trying to be funny it's just these these jobs now y'all when I say they really becoming very stressful and toxic, it's just so sad because, first of all, if a person is sick, you can't expect a person to come to work and sit up here and have this big old happy face smile showing all 32 teeth in her mouth when she's sick. You know, it's just not realistic. See, when people don't see me smiling or see me in a good mood and see me feeling bad, it got to be something wrong. And I'm not saying in a bad thing for a person to look out for me or something. I mean, for a person to ask me, you know, but don't sit up here and judge me because you don't know what I'm going through. Okay, you all out of... I, you all ought to be glad to see somebody choosing to come to work when they're not feeling their best because the average person would have called in the last couple of days when they were sick and said, no, I can't be there. But me, the person I am, the strong person, because I'm the, the nurturer and the provider in my life and my child life. I'm not going to sit there and just keep just calling in. It has to really be something major, major for me to call in. Even though I haven't really been feeling my best, I'm still showing up coming in doing what i supposed to do it's just y'all it, it, these jobs just and then re and, and to be honest i've been saying about another year or so if things don't really progress for me in my life i probably end up making a move and leaving the city leaving memphis because it's it's really hard to make it here i'm gonna just be honest a lot of people don't really say much about memphis and stuff like that that's you know that's from here but memphis is one city i'm not gonna say it's the poorest city in the world but it's really hard to make it here there's not that many opportunities here you know it's only mostly hotels or hospitals and gas stations and you know it's just really not that many opportunities especially with somebody if you have a degree or something like that it's, it's very seldom you will make the, the pay with your degree that you deserve here and the only reason what kind of been leading me on and staying here because of my family you know i have my mom stay here my brother my sister and i do have an aunt Leah here you know, where's well my daughter? And I've just been trying to stay strong and be here, you know, on account of my little family that I do have. But majority of my immediate family stay back in Chicago. Then I also have a few relatives here stay like in, you know, Texas, some parts of Texas. But it's really, hard. it's really becoming a, a challenge for me. You know, I try to stay 
um, motivated and prayed up at all times. I try not to never let the you know devil get the best of me. But it's just it's it's always something. Like you know, you come to work. You know, you got so many people. Like I say, I'm giving myself grace because I'm true. Cho- I chose know, to come back. I chose no, to come back. Right. Why I'm um. I chose to come back to work while um you know I'm, I chose to come to work on these last few days even though I wasn't feeling my best I'm still showing up doing my assignment yes still because y'all don't have enough people to cover y'all don't have enough people y'all not fully staff in my department my department is the under the staff at at the hotel and I kind of see why you know not you know from the little fruit from the eight months that I've been there seven and a half eight months that I've been there I see why they're very understaffed you have to know how to talk to people you know how you have to learn how to treat people give people grace for choosing to continue to keep pushing through and working for you you know because you just never know what people go through outside of work then they showing up doing their best self they and me personally I'm barely making enough money as it is you know I'm spending more than what I'm making it, it, it's just really something y'all it, it really is really like I say I just been dealing with so much y'all that's why yesterday y'all seen me in the park that's my only way that I can use to protect my peace and just, you know, when I go to the park, it helps me, it helps ease my mind, it helps relaxes my mind, but it also take my mind away from, from everything that's happened around me, whether it is, you know, um, toxic things that's going on in my life. That's my way of connecting back with God and giving God his time. When I sit in these parks, it's just for a reason to connect back with God and, 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 and you know, just the earth and you know connecting with the animals and stuff like that because i'm telling you the, the the world we living in now people is some of these people are really something else and they would try to destroy you in every way they can if they you know if you allow them to but yeah it's just really sad and then like i say i i haven't really only thing i'm i'm grateful for that i accomplished since i've been here i did get a degree you know, other than that, I ne- I haven't got I haven't met met the one. I haven't gotten married. You know, one reason why I chose to move down here it was to better my situation, better my life. Hopefully, you know, find a good job. But one thing I do like, I have gained experience since I've been here. But I had one and more. I was praying that hopefully someday I could become, you know, get married or meet the one, the man in my life. Because like I tell people, folks are always hiding about, you know, the what you need to do and need that. It makes a difference. And I know, you know, I try not to always talk about, you know, relationships and stuff like that. But it really does make a difference when a woman have a, a strong man in her life on her side pushing her to be the great person that she is when it's just you by yourself single nobody to talk to nobody can just push you even though you know you being strong enough to hold yourself accountable for your life and you pushing yourself it it, it can it can take a toll on you you know that's why i think it'd be so hard for me to allow people in my life and my trust i'm not gonna say i have bad trust issues but I, I really, I very seldom just trust a person. I have to really, really just get to know your character before I can just really allow, you know, because even with some of the men here, I see they are like they scared to be with a real woman, you know. They take a real woman for granted. Sometimes they, half of the times they want you to, um, portray, they, want, they want wifely duties. They want you to. Be, do wifely duties for them, but they're not trying to make you their wife. I, it, it's just too much, y'all. I say I just can't deal with it. I mean, it's just it's it's it became it's just becoming too much. Yeah, your girl just she just I'm just I, I say I can't do it no more. So probably beginning of next year, sometimes around maybe I would say the middle of the year if things happen progress, I probably just you know make a move. But you all know I'm gonna take y'all on whatever journey that I go on. You know, you ought to be seeing that, but it's it just becoming too much. I mean, this job right here, I never thought I would be facing all the, you know, issues. That's why I tell y'all, every job I, I went on, you know, like I said, I tell y'all, this is probably one of the best that I went to, but it's still, it still got some toxic um, things going on here, too, because they get mad if you don't take your break right away. But, yeah, still... <laughs> Y'all want the guests. Y'all want us to make sure you take care of the guests and get their food out on time for them. 
I mean, sometimes a person can be too busy and they might can't take their break. You know, it's just, it's crazy. And it, it, it's just, like I said, I don't even see myself. Like I said, this would be the last hotel I work at. When I start back going out job hunting, you know, but I, I really, I'm just trying to go along with this little place until I decide on what I'm on my move because I really don't see myself here too long in this city, you know. I'm just trying to keep pushing through, you know, if I, if things don't get better, I'm, I'm going to have to move and make a change. But yeah, y'all, it's just, it's crazy. And this is later in the day. Um, it's probably about four or five something. Yeah, this later in the evening. But yeah, I just wanted to come back in and just, you know, chat with you all because like I say, you you just never know what people go through sometimes. And that's another thing. I was looking at Maya the Shay yesterday. She was sharing a video, um, her video, um, about how people um some people when you try to tell them how you really feel and they they'll change the subject on you like they really hear but they really not and i understand exactly how she feel that's why i i would rather talk to talk to talk to my camera than talk to people because that, even though i'm talking to the camera but i know on the other side of the video on the camera somebody's actually watching me you know talk because nowadays you just can't talk to people but yeah yeah i probably end the vlog off right here. Um, but, yeah, I'll be tuning back in with you all because I need to go and get this video edited and uh, uploaded for tomorrow so I can start another vlog.